We take you on a trip down Route 206, where Princeton Day's boys ice hockey squad faced their toughest challenge of the season. And south of there, the comeback kids at the Lawrenceville School show us how they've been earning their keep as one of the region's best in basketball. I'm Mark Fontes with Sports. A lot of people like to call PDS's Lisa McGraw Ice Rink home. It's truly the Panthers' stomping grounds, despite other teams playing home games there. Yet last night, taking on the squad from LaSalle, PDS, as is sometimes the case, found themselves in their away uniforms, despite the home crowd pushing behind them. The LaSalle Explorers doing some cross-river voyaging coming from Montgomery County, PA to take on the Princeton Day Panthers in a hockey matchup that was all defense. The PDS Zoo, of course, there to make the Explorers' journey as rough as possible. This night belonged to PDS goalie Connor Walker. He recorded 39 saves, including this one clutch grab. The score, however, 1-0 LaSalle after one period of play. Second period, Cody Triolo of PDS slaps it to Graham Davis. Davis' shot hits the post, goes up and over the glass, stopping play. LaSalle on the move. Number two of the Panthers bumped Lisk on defense. This puck slapped out of the way by Walker, but it remains in play. PDS eventually claimed it back to go back on offense. The score, though, would remain one zip after two periods, despite the Panthers taking 23 shots throughout the night. Now watch this. Third period, LaSalle's Nick Popoff, number six. You hear that whistle, but he takes a shot anyway. That got him two minutes in the box, so PDS would go on a rare power play. They'd get several chances to score, but could not quite crease the net. The Explorers, by the way, utilized two goalies on the night. Nick DeSimone, who tallied 12 saves. Andrew King, who had 11. Late in that third period, Ron Greco just did slip this puck in past Connor Walker. That made it 2-0. Tough to follow the puck on this play, so we'll show it to you again in slow motion. Greco on the left side of your screen, slapping it in, and it crosses the line, making it a two-goal lead, and that was your final 2-0 as PDS loses for the first time this year. In the world of basketball, what a turnaround it has been for the Lawrenceville Prep ladies. Trailing Rutgers Prep by 11 points late in the third quarter last night, Jackie Klotz, Megan Riley, and the rest of the Big Red girls hit the ground shooting. Jackie Klotz getting a lot of well-deserved playing time in her new home of Lawrenceville. Her Big Red taking on Rutgers Prep Monday. Kendra Barat to Allison Girardi. Three-point shot. That's in there. Prep and their fans enjoying the first three quarters. Megan Riley, number one, dishing it ahead to Carissa Jenkins. She's fouled, so count that basket. Jenkins would also complete the three-point play. Riley, who along with Klotz, have completely turned this team around. Here they play pitch and catch. Riley for three. She nails it, giving the hometown fans reason to make noise. Heading into the fourth quarter, Prep still up by six. There Kim Thomas to Rion Tucker. Tucker hits that from right under the rim, but that would be all for them for a while. Girardi back with it. One-on-one -on -one against Riley in more ways than one, hence their matching numbers. Riley with a sensational steal pass to Klotz. Jackie keeps it inbounds, goes back to Riley, who turns two! See what I mean about these two? Later, Delana Smith with it for Elville, looking. Goes to Klotz, who goes to Riley. Another attempt from downtown. Whoosh! Prep still up by five with three minutes to play. The second's ticking away. Girardi with it. She takes it to the top of the key. Finds six foot 11 inch Marvadine Anderson who barely needs to jump to put it in. Now Big Red talked their game up down by seven with not a lot of time left. Klotz gets it. She shoots a three. That's in there. Prep's lead down to four with two and a half left on the clock. Riley from midcourt waiting for teammates to get open. Why not Jackie? Two point jumper right there. Two point game. Fans really eager to see the end of this one. Riley to Smith. She's blocked by Anderson, but Anderson's save. Stolen by Klotz, who locates Riley. Riley, no problem, weaving her way into the paint, and she ties it up at 43-all. Big Red would get it back inside of 30 seconds to go. Clock ticking under 15 left. Riley trying to milk enough time off the clock, calls timeout. Ten and a half to go, 43 all the score. Both sides chat. Possession, Big Red. Riley drives in, dishes it to Julia Bretz, who puts Elville on top with one and a half to go. Hugs all around for her. Even the boys team watching from on the bench start the party. Very little time for Prep to pull off a miracle. Girardi gets the inbound. She puts it up as the buzzer sounds. No good, and the Big Red pull off their second straight come from behind win to improve to 7-1. and one. Riley talked with us after. The locker room talk at halftime, it kind of it kind of gave us that that motivation just we knew that we had to start playing up to the, they were playing they wanted it more than us and we know that we had to we had to start playing better. And this better big red basketball as well as all high school basketball highlights seen here brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association members working to ensure your child's future success.
And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems. With fast, dependable on-site service, we change the way small business does business. Prior NAMI. The TCA Iron Mike Boys basketball squad threw St. Patrick an 81-73 beating this past weekend. The very squad that declined an invitation to the Mike's primetime Esket tournament paid for it dearly as five different Mikes turned in double figures. That included Malachi Richardson, who tallied 20, Nate King had 15, and Chaz Patterson 13. The Mikes are now 5 and 2 after a rocky first couple of games of the season and they're our Prior Nami team of the day. That'll do it for sports on this Tuesday in a moment Mercer County close up. Please stay with us.